Hi, my name is Chris from Chris at the Piano. Thank you for joining me today to look at the treble clef line notes. To start with, we need to draw a treble clef on the board. We start at the bottom, all the way up, hook round. There we go. Now today we're looking at line notes and there are five line notes in the treble clef that we need to look at. When we say a line note, we mean the note literally that sits on top of the line. So half is above the line and half is below the line. Like that. Now, we know this is the treble clef. It's also known as the G clef. And the G clef tells us where to read the note G or G4. And in this case, it's on the note in the middle of the spiral, which is this one. So the note that sits on line two, we know is G4. And we know that because of the treble clef. Now to help us with the rest of the line notes, on the worksheet, which is in the description below, you will find a little rhyme that we use a lot in the UK to help people remember the notes. There's also a place down here where you can write your own rhyme. The rhyme in, that I use a lot is E for every, G is green, B is bus, D is drives, and F is fast. Every green bus drives fast. So E, G, B, D, and F. And with my pupils, I also use the numbers that tell me the pitch. This is G4, E4, and B4. Then it's D5 and F5. This tells me the note up from the bottom of the piano. The lowest note on the piano is A0, B0, and then you get to C1, D1, E1, all the way up to B1, and then C2. So this is the fourth octave on the piano, and this is the fifth octave. I will be making another video on the scientific notation later on when I've completed this series. Once you've written them all out, you need to play them on the keyboard. So find your middle C on your keyboard, just fine by pressing the note down, and on most keyboards, it will tell you here which note it is that you're playing. You could also use it on a tuner and find out on the tuner which is C4. So this is E, miss a note to get to G, miss a note to get to B, miss a note to D, and miss another note, and you get to F. So let's do that again. E, G, B, D, and F. If you can play them on a keyboard or a piano, or if you've got an app on your phone with a keyboard on, you could play them on that as well. You will see the registered names come up on the app probably. But you can use a chromatic tuner as well if you're not sure which note you're playing. You can learn all these by flashcards as well, of which there are some that you can download on my website to go with this worksheet. The second worksheet in the series is this one, where you have to write the letter names under the first four lines. And when you get to the bottom, you have to draw in the notes as crotchets. To do this, you need to add stems. And if the note is below line three, the stem goes up on the right. If it's above line three, it comes down on the left. And if it's on line three, it can go either way. It can go up or down. I'm going to put this one down. To make them crotchets, color them in. There we go. The reason the same stems change direction is purely for housekeeping. It looks nicer if the stem is within the stave. The most important part is the note head though. That tells us what the pitch of the note is. And on the first worksheet in this pack, there is a little advice here on stems and which way they should go. 
The space notes are covered on another video, which will be linked again in the description below. When you finish the worksheet, if you show it to your teacher to verify that all of the notes are correct, if you would like it checked by a Triquetre approved teacher, please inbox any of our social media outlets with a photograph of your worksheet and we will drop you a message and let you know how you did on it. Thank you for joining me today. If you need any help and advice, please leave a note in the comments and myself or one of my team will get back to you as soon as possible. Please like and subscribe if this has been useful. See you next time. Bye for now.